Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu agreed today to pause a divisive plan to overhaul Israel's judicial system until the next parliament session following widespread unrest. Raf Sanchez has more from Jerusalem. This has been an unprecedented 24 hours in Israeli history after months and months of protests that have seen hundreds of thousands of protesters on the streets demonstrating against right-wing Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's plan to weaken Israel's Supreme Court. Things have now come to a head. Israel is on a general strike today. The country's only international airport has been closed for outbound flights. Demonstrators have been on the streets of both Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. And we have now learned that Netanyahu has support from within his right-wing government to back down, to at least partially give in to the protesters' demands by delaying this plan to move ahead with weakening the Supreme Court. Netanyahu faced a lot of pressure from right-wing members of his own government to move ahead with this plan, despite the enormous opposition against him on the streets, in the parliament, and in the business community. Netanyahu is pledging at least a delay. Whether or not that will satisfy the protesters who have turned out in such enormous numbers in recent months remains to be seen. Raf Sanchez, NBC News, Jerusalem.